Hey everybody, it's Mike Pintar here. Oh, it's a new year, and I've got some thoughts bubbling around in my head about a new painting. And, uh, unfortunately, or fortunately for this painting, this is going to be the canvas that's going to be covered. And while I kind of like it, eh, it just had, just had some problems, and really didn't work for me overall. Um, what comes around goes around was the theme. So it's a big one. It's uh, 30 by 40, I believe, hanging on the wall. Hanging on the wall downstairs here. And uh, I'm going to start. I'm going to take that and take it to the next level and uh, reinvent that piece. So let's get to it. I first uh, sanded down the canvas because it was some pretty thick paint that had set up there for oh, a couple years. But uh, now my, my my goal is to just cover up the painting. Uh, got some Prussian blue and just start slathering that around. <clears throat> it's a little bit transparent, but... Uh, We'll put a little yellow in here. I really have no master game plan at this time other than to cover up what was there and uh, start working with a fresh canvas. So I'll continue to put more paint out there, continue to look for shapes that I might be able to work with. Um, I like some of the colors that were there, so I may leave a couple spots with existing color that will act uh, pretty much as a background support. I use knives a lot in this particular painting. Uh, a lot of paint coming onto the canvas. I had a good supply of linseed oil also so it helps me move the paint around fairly quickly. Right now I've dripped down uh, a large amount of linseed oil down the canvas and again just randomly putting a couple colors out there uh, blues couple yellows and uh, wherever it goes it goes at this time I'm using a couple of uh, <clears throat> standard household brushes uh, suitable for oil paint. That was my bottle of linseed oil. That's the this is a rare time that I use a medium in one of my paintings. Um, I almost exclusively just go straight out of the tube with the oil paints, but uh, just still throwing a little paint around. Um, dripping more linseed oil down the canvas, seeing what's going to work out uh, as we go. Being fairly loose and trying to be as artistic as possible with the application of random marks across the canvas.
by this point uh, I've taken a day off and let some of that paint set up it's still pretty wet um, I've got a thinner brush and uh, again no real ideas of what to do for me the abstract figure is is a piece that I commonly use uh, on these types of paintings so I'm trying to develop um, some ideas pretty much on the fly of what's what's going to take place here just trying to have some fun and um, again let the idea come to me as I start applying the paint the name of this particular painting ended up to be screw tape uh, I was reading a a book that a friend talked to me about called the screw tape letters which was quite provocative by C.S. Lewis and uh, thought I would use as that uh, title as the basis for the painting now, there's not a lot of references to it um, other than screw tape is the, the uncle uh, of a person that he's uh, talking to in the book um, if you haven't read it it's it's quite interesting and uh, quite eye-opening you might want to take some time out it's a quick short read and have some fun with it Hey, it's Mike. I'm back on this one. It's been about two weeks. Two weeks to get this to dry. But that's oil. That's just part of it. You know, <clears throat> there's a lot of paint. There was a lot of linseed oil. There's a lot of liquid so it took a while but yeah just a little bit damp yet but pretty much in good shape so what's happened since this i got time to think about it uh started reading a book the screw tape letters by cw lewis so hey threw in a little reference to screw tape philip uh, what's his name? Hoffman. Seymour Hoffman died. So definitely we got a tribute to him coming up here with a needle in his arm. The effects of uh, heroin and drug overdose on society. But I had another piece here that I s scratched in that I want to use my handy oil stick. If you haven't uh, worked with these before, you just shave it down because it, it will get hard and it has the same characteristics as oil paint so switch hands here and I like the color orange right now let's see what we got don't like it don't like the way that acted so We'll do, we'll do something with that. But, uh, hey, let's... Let's... Let's work in this a little bit. Really, these oil sticks are fun. 
Um, you can glob them on really thick. I like to draw, so for me, it's a good chance to to draw. Let me carve up a white one here and use that. All right, so got my white one here. See if you don't get that all scraped off, it's hard. Notice how you can do some minor blending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what am I thinking? I have no idea right now. It's just kind of coming to me as we go. Just kind of winging it, but that's okay for me on this one. It's just kind of what I want. It's what I want. I want spontaneous combustion. All right, all right, all right. Good, 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 good. Yeah. We're gonna come back on this and we'll finish that up with some color. Oh yeah, the direction this is going, who knows? Just let him break out this this little guy here. Not sure what this is. Reminds me of a monkey of some sort. Or... <laughs> we'll figure something out. Okay, so that's the drying phase and into the next level. Well, it took another couple passes, but his broken heart screw tape. Read about screw tape, C.J. Lewis. Just a little abstract piece. Funny thing, how things tie back to how we think about the way of the world. Thirty by forty.